Hello everyone, welcome to part 16 of Laravel 10 in which we are first creating the admin panel and uh, this time we are going to start working on the CRUD operation. Okay, so uh, what does actually CRUD means? Uh, see, it, it is C-R-U-D, you can see CRUD, uh, first letter is C is for create, R for read, uh, U for update and D for delete. Okay. So these are the four operations that we are going to perform. Like C is for create, R is for read, uh, U is for uh, update, and D is for lead. So it means CRUD, C R U D. Okay, I hope that is it is accessible to you. Okay. Uh, okay. So these i also yeah fine so these are the crud operation so see these operations uh, we are going to do in our admin panel for updating for adding the cms pages okay for creating the cms pages for assessing them uh, and for updating them and for deleting them okay so this crud operation we are going to perform for our laravel 10 series uh, in our admin panel okay so i'm going to log in into the admin panel okay so uh here uh, i'm going to see here i'm going to add here the cms pages like i have added earlier cms pages here i will add uh see uh, the panel of cms page in which we are going to show the cms pages cms pages that we can manage see these cms pages are like about us terms and condition privacy policy that is required for every for any website okay i'm going to show you my website that we have earlier created like stackdevelopers.in so in this website this is the e-commerce website that we have earlier created and in this website you can see about us page terms and condition contact page okay so all these are called the cms page or we can open any other website as well like i can open the amazon website in amazon website itself uh, if you will go down and you can able to see uh, its terms and condition and other pages as well okay so that are called like this one see about us page okay and you can uh, open the carriers page or some other page like uh, uh, some terms and condition page so that page uh, we can update from the edit panel see this is too much complex page i am i am talking about the simple pages okay simple pages that we can manage from the admin panel so almost every website require that kind of pages that kind of cms pages uh, that we want to update from the admin panel okay whether it is the e-commerce website whether it is dating or some education related website there are content that we want to update from the admin panel so those cms pages we are going to handle uh, for our admin panel for our laravel 10 admin panel okay after that we are going to start uh, working on the maybe e-commerce maybe dating or maybe some other website that we are going to decide still uh, need to decide and one more one two more feature we are going to add for our admin panel as well uh, like i'm going to show you uh, like this remember me feature also that we have not done earlier that also we are going to do for our admin panel okay so after committing these few features we are going to work on uh, the some particular admin panel okay so uh, the admin that we are working right now can be used for any website okay so uh, so first operation is uh, crud operation uh, that we are going to perform with cms pages and all other module see this crud operation we have earlier on we have used every time okay uh, but uh, uh, we have not specified it like this like the crud crud is just for the beginners like who uh, don't have any idea that how to make the crud uh, how to make the methods for the crud operation uh, because here we are creating our own method in the earlier series as well we have created our own method like uh, uh, some method like we have created uh, for adding for editing okay so uh, so right now we are going to use the resource controller for creating these uh, methods automatically okay so we are going to see everything uh, in the next few videos we are going to work on this crud operation or automatic operation of creating these functions with the resource controller that also we are going to see 
but first thing is we are going to create the cms pages table okay so that we are going to create uh, with the help of migration command and also we are going to create uh, the cms page model as well so two things we are going to do together this time i am going to open here like project 10 is our folder services new terminate folder here i'm going to run one command here php addition make model i'm going to create the model like cms page okay uh, hyphen m so it will create the model as well also it is going to create the migration file as well okay so i'm going to uh, enter here you can see it has created the model created successfully with this name cms page and it also creates the migration file that is create cms page table so cms underscore pages table so our we want to create the table like cms underscore pages so that table we can create now i'm going to open the migration file so that we can fill up the columns that we require uh, cms underscore pages okay so this is the migration file that we have created with single command we have done two things uh, we have created the model as well as the migration file for creating the table okay so here uh, we are going to add the required fields uh, like uh, dollar table uh, string uh, we are going to add the title uh, so after title we are going to add here description as well and for description we are going to add the text data type okay so after this we are going to add the string and string for string we are going to add here url okay so here meta title meta description meta keywords status okay status uh, uh, we are going to add for making the cms page active or inactive uh, we are going to take the tangent here and these meta title meta description and meta keywords we have taken for the seo purpose okay and this url we have uh, we have created uh, to give the url of the cms page to create the url of the cms page that uh, we are going to add here at the top uh, okay that the user can uh, able to use that okay description for the description of the cms page and the title okay so we are going to create the table with this information okay so uh, let's run the php artisan migrate command and let's see the table has been created now uh, we are going to refresh the project 10 and we can see the table has been created okay so this table has been created now we are going to create uh, some of the entries with the help of the cedar okay so for that uh, we are going to run the uh, command like we used to do earlier as well php artisan uh, make cedar cms page table cedar okay so I'm going to open this one CMS page table cedar we have already having the model that we are going to include here use app model CMS page okay so here uh, we are going to give here uh, records CMS pages Records here we are going to add all the records like ID one title about us description Content is coming soon. We are going to add this and URL. We are going to create the URL like uh, about us and meta title. Let's 
like this okay but a description again we are going to add uh, like something like this content and meta keywords we can add about us and about as keyword status add as one okay so we are going to repeat once again two times we can repeat and one uh, this one for the terms and condition and uh, content is coming soon and here we can add terms condition and here uh, we are going to add and condition like this Here also to the condition content, and here uh, we can add terms, terms, conditions. Okay, like this, and this one we can add for the privacy policy, and once again we can add the URL like privacy policy and meta title uh, we can add the same one privacy policy here uh, for description meta description we can add privacy policy content then here we can simply add privacy policy okay so this we can uh, insert after this one cms page insert dollar cms page reports and now we are going to uh, add the call this cms page under database cedar here we will disable this one and we'll uh, call for uh, that cms page table cedar and we will run one command here php artisan bbc to uh, create the uh, here issue has come okay duplicate entry one two three will come here okay if there is any error then resolve that so now we will run once again and it has been seeding database it has been run properly and we are going to see that our entries have been created as well okay so we uh, have filled up the cms underscore pages table with three of the entries about terms, terms and conditions and privacy policy in the next video we are going to display uh, these in our uh, we are going to create this cms pages uh, page here in our admin panel and going to display these three entries here with the help of current operation and in the next video we are going to uh, uh use that read operation of crud okay so means to assess the data from the database and to uh, to display in the admin panel okay so we are going to work on the read operation right now we have not set up any kind of crud operation we have just prepare our table so that we can use the crud operation of laravel okay so that we are going to do in the next video so stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time goodbye